drill. <laughs> Me staring at the three screens that we have. <laughs> well, I go between looking at the camera and looking at you. Mm-hmm. And I don't even make eye contact with you. I, know, I just thought, I haven't done, thought of this, but like twiddle my thumbs. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. Okay. Hey, friends. Happy Wednesday, friends. Day. Welcome back to my studio. Here with me today behind the scenes is Emily. Hello. I was just practicing that, and then I just totally said it differently. Yes, didn't you did. <laughs> it's different every time. And I practice this time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a couple quick little announcements, and then we're going to get to this cute lamb painting because I'm not going to have a break after we get started. So Friday, August 5th, 2022, we have some Sunny Susans posting. I just I love the flowers. I love the tall grass too. And would you just sit on that easel mm -hmm. if, you're, if your microphone will reach? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw the post-it on the floor. And then I don't have it, so I just have a little post-it. I took this out of uh, Bonita's uh, notebook that she gave me. <laughs> Um, there's a little Bumblebee video posting Sunday, August 7th, 2022. I already took it to the gallery, so I don't have. Um, that was kind of fun to throw it. <laughs> I don't have the painting with me. And then the next live on Wednesday, August August 10th, 2022, is going to be the crow and the moon. C is for crow, so it'll be one of our letter-themed ones. Okay, Emily. She's got to scoot us down and then scoot mm -hmm. us over, and I'm going to scooch me over a little. We're going to do lot, lots of scooching. Lots of scooching. Lots of scooching. I only had to turn my, I know my backside. It's all on me today. It is all on you. And you can adjust lights too if they're bugging you. We always have shadows though. I know. One of these days we'll have like, they call them bounce lights. Soft box lights. Soft box. Know. Yeah, that's probably what they call them. Hey, I want to hang up the video, so <laughs> I don't always get the right turns. <laughs> okay, I think. Oh, I was trying to look there to see. Oh, it. yeah, I, I don't have chat today. I have the lamb. The reference photo, um, I think, is on Unsplash. I linked the, it in this video description. Isn't that adorable? Mm -hmm. And I turned the head just a little bit in Photoshop. And I just scaled the photo to, this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas from Michaels. I just scaled the photo to that size and traced it. Um, I always say I'm going to draw more, and I'm like, but I got to get this done. I got to yeah. get this done. I got to, you know, and it, it saves me time. So this is an inch and a half canvas. I've showed this a lot on various videos. It's gallery wrapped and spline. It has a rubber gasket and it's stapled in there. I like them. They're really nice and neat. Thank you, Michaels. I love that. We're not sponsored by anybody. <laughs> yeah. YouTube, you, YouTube cares about that. So not, that's and you haven't gotten Ziploc yet, you know? Oh, yeah. I love that. That, that was one so of them. funny. So I painted the background with this brush. You could use a filbert. You could use a bigger one or a smaller one. It is a three quarter inch, 19 millimeter uh, from Royal and Lane Nickel. It's their Zen line. Really nice brush. I love it. Cleans up nicely too. So I, I just smeared. So what I did here, we, get, we need to set the table on my little styrofoam plate. I used Hooker's Green, which is this color right here and white to paint the background. Uh, there'll be a full video I filmed the beginning of this. And I, it was too green. So then I put out some phthalo blue green shade because you guys know how much I love that. So this is phthalo blue green shade. And I blew, make the, made the green a little bit bluer and then still left some of the green showing through. I'm assuming you can see that on video. I like it better. And then if you also know me, I don't like my backgrounds, which I like, I, I think this is too green, too strong, but gosh, I gotta wait till I get this cute lamb on there before I know if it is too strong. And usually it's just fine. I think it's so funny that I, I never like my backgrounds. But you just take paint and smear it. Um, you can, you've seen me do it in other videos. Just have fun, paint a couple layers. Actually having the green behind it helps with a little bit more depth of color. So, those the titanium white, I think I used this one. I don't think I used the heavy body. Sorry guys, titanium white. Uh, I just mentioned the hooker's green. Should I flash it one more time? Um, phthalo blue green shade. As long as I'm flashing them again, because I don't know where I set the phthalo blue. It's hiding, it's almost empty. And then I put out burnt umber. Where's my burnt umber? I 
burnt umber. That's this brown. Oop, I just stuck my finger in the paint. <laughs> and then I put out raw sienna. And then I, you could put out black. I'm going to wipe my finger off here, guys. Um, <laughs> it's under my fingernail. You could put out black, but I mixed burnt umber with a phthalo blue green shade. And then here I've got kind of a green black, and here's a little bit maybe bluer or blacker black color. I mean, it's not exactly black, but it made a real pretty green gray, which I used here. Um, the eyes aren't done. Emily, am I aiming pretty good? There's going to be um, a delay. A lag. Yes, you are. Do mm -hmm. I need to hear, maybe if I can just kind of guess. Oh, you know what? I could probably lean. I can lean my mm -hmm. head back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you have a neck. <laughs> I, I have a neck. That's what the eyes look like. Nothing's done. I um, just kind of put in some marks to know where the face is, you know, some of the darker marks on the nose and mouth, and then I just played with this brush, a half-inch flat brush from Michael's. It says Artist Loft on it. I just played, put some dark marks in here, and it looks pretty rough, but that's how paintings start. Okay, I think that sets the table. Whew, 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 whew. It's hot in Omaha, Nebraska, and it's humid. How are you guys are? Let's see here. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna start. Maybe I'll start with the ear. So, so far in the chat, we have <laughs> uh, Suzanne, Anita, Sandy, Lori, Susie, um, and Babs. Wow, hi guys. It's so fun to, I, we see most of them every Wednesday, don't we? Mm -hmm. All of them. Oh, uh, and Bonita, she just popped in. Hey, Bonita. <laughs> I used your notebook today. <laughs> Thank you, I love it. It has a, I don't have it next to me, it has a cat on it. I think it says freckles, doesn't mm -hmm. it, Emily? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really cute. I like that I just, I realized not too long ago with it sitting on your desk that, so it's a the back end of a cat and, um, it has adorable little X on its booty, and um, the strap to keep the book close <laughs> perfectly censors the little butthole. Yeah. <laughs> it's cute. It's really cute. I used up my other notebook first. So it's kind of a blue-green color when you add some white to that blackish looking. But whether I use this one or that one, it looks definitely looks black when it's by it, you know, without any white in it. Mm. Uh, Dale says it's hot here in Minnesota. Oh, I lived in Minnesota for 10 years, maybe? This is way before you, Em. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. How long were we there? I think it was about 10 years. Well, how old was Jack when you moved? He was three when we moved. And you were probably there for a and while he's before him. 31 now, so it's been quite a while since I lived in Minnesota. Yeah. Minnesota. Oh, um, I wish you had your little chat open. Uh, Lori M. Um, dropped a $4.99 uh, little super chat guy with this. Uh, a dancing um, I'm gonna turn hair around. right there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank He's you, so Lori. Cute. Thank you. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Dale says, still have the accent, lol. Yeah, but, well, I did when I, um, so I'm born and raised in Nebraska, and then when my husband and I lived in Minnesota when we were young, um, you know, I didn't have the long O's or anything, and but when I came back to Nebraska, people were saying, well, like, are you from Minnesota? Because I apparently didn't realize I picked up, you know, down and you betcha. And <laughs> you betcha. Can't think of some of the other ones. It's been quite a while since I thought about that. I remember when we first moved up there and I saw all these trucks out on the lakes ice fishing. I'm like, uh -oh. why do they not sink? Oh, yeah. And it looks so scary to mm -hmm. me. <laughs> I was like, ah. Oofta, Dale says. Oh, yeah, oofta. <laughs> Well, my my husband's family is Norwegian, so they like the Lefse and the Ludafisk and, uh -huh. you know. Um, Lori said, I beat Chase, but he does send more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I was I was running through my head like, okay, what's next on the list that I'm saving money for? Oh, I noticed that um, Blick Art Materials, is, they usually have an August sale. They have some really mm, big... Back to school. Yeah, I don't think they call it back to school, but they have some really big savings right now. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's tomorrow that it starts, if you have a Blick Art Materials in your area. And I think Jerry's has um, Liquitex paints on sale. I don't have a Jerry's near me. Mm -hmm. um, 
and I think I saw that they have Liquitex now has canvases and brushes. But I'll have to. I don't have a Jerry's near me. I, of course, I could shop online. Yeah, you have. Well, you've gotten some of their stuff before. But I'm such a Liquitex gal. Mm -hmm. It seems like I should have some brushes. <laughs> and I mean, hey, thanks, Laura. I think I'm going to buy a Liquitex brush and see if I like it. Yeah. Um, and I, I think let's see here. When I'm I was, talking too much. No, 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 no. Um, I was still um, getting myself situated. And um, earlier, Lori said, "Let's see here." Oh yeah, we were. Um, I love the background. I'm so glad you made a video of that. Yeah, it was it, when you were talking about setting the table or whatever. Yeah, it's very similar. What did we do last week? Um, uh, bunny. The V for bunny. Oh, I didn't paint that background. I, I'll try and if you need to, you can message me or um, put a comment in the Facebook group, and I can find where I paint a background. It, you basically just smear paint on mm -hmm. till you're happy. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm clearly not happy, but I stopped because I just like it's silly. I just I am so funny about backgrounds. I'm just kind of putting. Actually, I'm being a little futzy. I always start out tight and futzy. I don't know if futzy is actually a word. This is the, I, th I already mentioned it, but it's the half inch flat from Michael's. I got a card in the mail today that um, I'm pretty sure the Blick Art Materials sale starts tomorrow. That's where I got my um, mm -hmm. upright wood easel. I bought one of the, if not the most ex inexpensive one, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, I, I really like it. Except for the one time when it dropped on my foot during a live. Yeah, that was fun. But that wasn't the easel spot. <laughs> We should have changed the title to, like, any gets horribly injured during live. <laughs> yeah. Um, Suzanne said, here in Ontario, it's very warm and humid. They're announcing severe thunderstorms. Yeah, it rained Just this a little morning. bit. Yeah, a little bit. When I went to take the, the trash can was all wet when I went to push it out to the edge of the curb. Oh, yeah, I bet. Um, and I thought it was just, like, the sprinkler, but then I looked in the street and there were, like, puddles in the street and stuff, but I didn't notice. It must have been like the quiet, even rain. I yeah, I, I just noticed because the garbage came yeah really early this morning, so I looked out to see if I could run anything out, and mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, the street's wet. Mm hmm. Basically, yeah, same. Um, I'm just gonna put see. in some lines. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead, honey. I'm oh, just no. putting in some lines. I don't know that I'm gonna paint every curl. Oh, Emily, I forgot to look to see if I have a video on Mona Felisa. Oh, I will. I think you do. It's an old... When you have time, just make a note. It's an old one, but, like, I really painted the swirls. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna... One thought that I keep telling myself is don't. <laughs> mm-hmm. Don't. Which, I don't know, you can. I'm just trying to do things a little differently, not do the same thing all the time is all. Mm-hmm. Um, Michael said, Hello, all. Can't wait to see the crow and moon next week. Very cute lamb. If there were um, many in a landscape, would be a landscape painting? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Actually, that'd be cute. Yeah. A la and then you could call it a landscape. Even if you just did, like... Um, well, it, even a reference photo has lambs in it. It's that, a landscape. That's actually a cute photo if you want to do a more complicated... <laughs> you know, this has... Why well, I'm at it. This has decent eyes to paint. You yeah. Can, you can see them pretty well. Uh-huh. I tend, I don't always do, but I like to try to find photos with, do you remember what you're going to um, say? No, just that I'm picturing like one of your, um, <coughs> like you have the, oh, Gramps has it, has a, the print of it. It's the landscape that's a little more loose and has like the red barn, the tiny red barn in the background. Oh yeah. And it's just kind of like. I think that's Creekside, but see the videos are to have different names anyway. Yeah. But it's more of a, like a suggestion at a barn. So you could do like suggestions at a lamb and call it lambscape. Totally can. That'd be so cute. I've seen people paint little, little blobs and just like a little highlight, couple of legs and then you have a lamb. Especially if you keep like, I, my landscapes t tend to be about the loosest thing I paint. Mm -hmm. Um. Especially if you do something like that. Actually, it sounds kind of fun. I have such a list of what I want to paint. Cute ideas. That might be too dark. Just kind of... I, I, I follow the reference photo and then sometimes I... So, oh, our sun. Oh, where's my other sun? Mm -hmm. I bet you I left it stuck to something and it, or it fell. Oh. The one with the sunglasses. Mm -hmm. um, the sun's kind of coming from here. The 
up here. So I'm thinking cooler shadows over here. Let's see. Are you looking for Mona Felisa? Yes, I was gonna start looking for her. I meant to. I think there might be a really old, before I even thought about doing YouTube, you as a YouTuber, I was just posting a couple videos every once in a while. You think like, it's that old? I think so. Oh boy. I think so. Okay. Like, and I did a, like a pet portrait for mm -hmm. somebody, so I just posted a video. But it was probably before or when you were saying, Mom, you should do YouTube. <laughs> okay, let's see. So I'm, what I'm not sure about this lamb is, like, it has fur that comes over the body, it looks like. It looks like it has pretty fuzzy cheeks. So sometimes, like, when I don't know what to do, I just kind of put things in. Maybe what I'd rather do. So what I, I, I'm debating, do I want gray greens on this side? Cause it's the, not the sun. The sun's up here. Here, I'm gonna put a little. I always feel so slow. Cause like, even when I watch, I just did a short video today and then I time lapse part parts of it, which I do quite often. And so now I feel like I'm in slow mode. Oh, you do? Do Two I have years it? ago. Oh, it was newer than oh, it was newer than I thought. Yeah. Well, I don't but know. It, you're in the right stage. It's in it's um like three videos after um, the one random ta cow time lapse that has like a 11k views and no sound. <laughs> oh yeah, so we really hadn't seriously decided we were gonna. Yeah, I didn't. The first video I ever helped you with is like a little over two years ago. Yeah, but it's like 10 videos after that because you were just posting like the time lapse. Or like yeah, so you the were, fabrics. I can hear you, Mom. You should do YouTube. Yeah, Mom. Mom, if you're gonna post a silent video to YouTube, you might as well do it. Well, but I knew what you meant by doing YouTube, which yeah. wasn't what I meant by doing. Oh, you even put in the um. Okay, my son. I'm just putting this up. I'm sorry, honey. I'm just putting no. this up here, so I'm, I'm like kind of reminding myself where the light is. Go ahead. Just the like pre-made um, title announcement that looks like that bubbles in and it looks like clouds. Well, if you don't want to post a link, you don't no. have to. I don't. It's funny. I think it's funny and cute. Well, and you, whatever you do, you grow, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, that's just how it works. You, you, nobody knows everything. Nobody's good at everything. I certainly, I'm better at videos, but I think I have a lot of growth. <laughs> I still have a lot of growth. I like that my phone can do it all. That really helps. Yeah. I don't know that I would do it if I had to buy all the equipment. It would be hard to start, yeah. you know, to be ex to do to buy all that equipment to start. It'd be really hard. So I'm gonna grab a little raw sienna. Okay. I put the Mona Felisa time lapse in the chat. Oh, and I should pin. I love that title, Mona Felisa. I know. I want to kind of call this one Mona Felisa, so I can't think of any. Well, can you call it like Mona Felisa in 2022? I could. Or, or two like point two. Yeah, or two point oh or. 2. Like I do yeah, all the cow. all the troubles, yeah, mm -hmm. all the cows with something in their mouth, <laughs> all the trouble. Um, uh, so Chase just dropped his nine ninety nine, and instead of the goat emoji, it just says Lori beat me. <laughs> <laughs> hey Chase, man, thank you, thank you, thank you. We giggle every every time. Thank you so much. I I love that you spoil me. It's so nice. Oh wow, and we must um. Either your volume is, either I'm talking loud or your volume's loud on your computer because I can hear me through your headphones. Oh, your volume's extremely loud, that's why. Oh, I, I just kind of adjusted my apron. I thought maybe I was. No, 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 no. Um, just the, I checked your computer. Your volume was like three notches from max. Oh, weird. Mm-hmm. Because I was just listening to um, a video. It should have been under halfway for sure. It's kind of weird. It's actually gray looking in the um, reference photo. But I'm, I'm, I'm almost more drawing than painting right now, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Just finding, you know, find things. I'm finding puzzle edges. Let's see. And then I'm like, wow, that looks rough. That's what goes through my head. <laughs> uh, I 
I really do like to paint. As a kid, I was a drawer, and I thought, I I don't like painting. I'm not going to paint. Mm -hmm. And now I'm like, hmm, I like this. It was, it was easier. It was easier for me to learn painting because I am a drawer. But you can do it the other way around. And when I say it's easier, I think it is. It's, I can only relate what I think. Um, I can't really get into someone else's art journey very well. So I feel bad that I said that. It might not be, actually. It's, everybody's going to be different. Okay, that'll remind me. That's kind of a shadow that I see. I think I might go... Well, at least gray-brown. I might stick a little... See if I like that. What's so nice is I could, um, as this gets more developed, that might be too, way too dark. I can glaze color over it. Kind of like, um, did I glaze some with the rabbit? The bunny? Um, I just painted yeah. it, but I, I don't remember. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to go with yeah, because you tend to. Well, I, I'm pretty sure I added some. I can see blues and oranges. And the oranges. And yeah, I was picturing the orange. But is that technically glazing? I'm not sure. I didn't pull out the matte medium, I don't mm -hmm. think. And what's funny is um, when I'm not sure I'm going, I'm more careful like I am right now and a little bit nervous um, instead of looser. But I'll come back and make it looser, you know, just because I'm, I'm trying to be kind of loose. But. And this shadow is way too heavy, but I also can come back with white on top of it and I'll give it some more depth. And I'm just saying this stuff, actually, because that's what runs through my head when I'm here by myself. Don't always say it out loud, but those are the kind of things I think about. I'm trying to decide. Oh, no, yeah, that's okay. I can grab a little white here. I didn't lift up my palette. Hmm. I'm going to wipe off my brush because it's pretty loaded. I don't think that changed it a bit. I do a lot of things that don't. That's okay. I think I, someone said to me, I've been wondering, someone said to me that it was really helpful to hear that I don't like it, that I, you know, kind of move on to a different area when I don't like it. Sometimes I just move on to a different area because I want it to dry. Well, I'm glad it's helpful. I don't, I know, I'm not being terribly mean to myself. You just, as an artist, you bounce between artist, creative, and then critic. Stepping back is usually when I think a lot of people go into critic mode. Mm -hmm. That's pretty light for the shadow side. So after I lightened all that up, so um, I wouldn't expect, I shouldn't, I, w I shouldn't expect myself, I don't know, hang on, I'm looking at my reference photo, to get the values right on the first pass. But then sometimes I like them anyway, so I don't necessarily change them. Oh, I want that lighter. I'm just trying to keep some shapes, too, right now, even though it looks like there are a lot of complicated shapes. I like this green-gray. Oh, that's eyelash. Okay, that's... Mm -hmm. I was off where I was looking. Okay, these eyelashes are a lot lighter, but I'm going to paint them gray right now. They're going to look kind of funny. All right, let's work on this nose. I think that might be the most interesting. All right. Do we want to switch now? Or do we want to stick with our green, brown, gray combo? Feel me thinking, people? Yes. <laughs> I feel Emily thinking too, I think. I think, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got too much water there. I'm painting up. I'm, sometimes you can get away with a little bit more water when you're painting flat. Or let it run. Make that part of the painting. Yeah, I like to... That might be alright. It just looks so funny to me, right? It's just so hard. It's like, 
Ah. It really to me feel I don't do puzzles, but it really totally feels to me like a puzzle. Like I don't know if I'm gonna find all the pieces. I end up putting the green gray all the way down. Maybe I'll um it might be weird, but I can always paint over it if I do a little Oops. No, that's the right color. A little bit of the teal. Maybe a little brown. I'm just playing. How do I know what to do? I don't. I just like, oh, let's just warm it up a little bit, but keep it cooler and darker. This one's warmer. This one's cooler. Just kind of mixing it up. Um, you don't have to do it as you paint. You can come back and do it. Make your paintings a little more interesting. Here, maybe this will make more sense. So I have blue, a little bit of blue there if you can see it. Kind of a little yellow, yellows, some orange. That kind of thing. Mixing up the colors can make it fun. Those ears. I end up putting, I think that's straight up quite an acridone that I put over the top of the brown so it's not too vibrant. But that's what I mean by mixing it up. Your colors a little bit can be fun. And if it's, that's not your thing and you're more of a realistic painter, I admire that. I know a gal who does that and it's just amazing. She paints huge paintings of like um, candy, candy vending machines, the kind where you stick in the quarter and they're red, they're, they have the stuff on the top and you know, like the, I don't know, Skittles, or, no, they wouldn't have Skittles, but some like bubble gum, um, put the quarter in and then turn the knob and the piece of candy comes out the metal. She will paint like a row of those in perfect detail. It's like, oh my gosh. I'm painting a lamb face. I'm, oh, sorry, I forget to hold this. I'm just mixing a little darker color and I'm probably gonna go, ah, oh, that's too dark. But mostly right now, I just don't wanna lose my edge of my face here. That's my biggest. I'm just kind of dabbing. Another thing, am I talking too much, Em? No. Another thing nice about having a layer of paint and then another layer of paint, the acrylic paint shrinks and you'll, um, if you put on a couple layers, you'll get it covered. You won't have little, I didn't paint my background, so I ha could have like little white specks popping through as the acrylic paint shrinks when it dries, so it's kind of nice. This is way darker than in the reference photo, but Oops, I just kind of did something I didn't want to do there, but I might leave it. We can make it more dramatic. We can come back and... Emily's typing. Sorry. I w well, no. so I was just thinking that, oh, I don't know when. I think Maybe it'll be like two more weeks. Do you yeah. think we'll hit 5,000? Probably about or two weeks. We, we slowed down again because I don't... I yeah. mean, I can kind of tell. I'm starting to get a feel for which videos are going to be more popular. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to have a little dry spell here. <laughs> and, but, you know, that's, we're, we're heading towards the end of the Even though it's early month, Yeah. Um, I'm a couple weeks ahead in the schedule. Mm -hmm. Actually, maybe we will. The dry spell might not be towards the end of the month. I might be off in my head. Oh, okay. Because um, we are at 4,851 oh, right yay. now. Yay. So, I, I mean. Thank you, people. I think in a couple weeks. But then I was trying to like equate like what um, how to like because I mean five thousand is a big number if you think about literal people. So I was trying to look up like places in Omaha that like to compare your brain of like that's if you filled every seat here, oh that fits so x amount of people. You're trying to like Google a visual. Yeah. Well, so like the um, Orpheum Theater where like all of the musicals come and stuff. Yeah. That's only 2,600, so we well beat that. Okay, so what Emily's going to do is make me nervous to be on <laughs> YouTube Live. Because well, we I only, I don't think about how many people are out there. <laughs> well, that's like everyone that's subscribed to you. That's not, I think we have. I know, but I'm just saying. I think we have, we have 17 friends, so that's very attainable. We could all fit downstairs in the, like, in the main floor of the house. Yeah, I can, you I, know? I can handle 17. <laughs> We could all we could all fit in this house, so we're fine. 
Thanks. all hang out in the backyard. Thanks, Sam. Yeah. Thanks for... We could probably all huddle under, me, like, a yeah. park pavilion easily. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm still upset about the... <laughs> making me think about 5,000 people. But, um... <laughs> Well, you then know, should you I further upset you? you? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I said, should I further upset you? Because I found Oh, yes, that's... please, because it's fun. <laughs> well, okay, so you've already passed the Ralston Arena. Really? Yeah, that holds 4,400 people. Really? Mm-hmm. That's weird. I mean, not like, I don't think if you're talking... I, that, I, that's, that's amazing. Go I ahead. I think that's like the seated, like when you're in the... Like, like that little... Remember when we went to one of the Omaha beef things or whatever? Oh, when they I, had I, the, yeah. like, not... Been, yeah. The unofficial, like, it's not NFL, but it was something FL league thing. Yeah. That, that, that you have more than that. That's crazy. Um, I wondered what you were thinking about. You're not allowed here. to think when you're supposed to be working here. I know. You're not allowed to think. Mm, Mid-America Center is 8,000, so you, you got a ways to go to fill Mid-America. Huh. And then the Baxter, you haven't been to the Baxter Arena, It feels you? like it's just me and, you know, 17 of my friends. Just, yeah, a handful of people hunching over your shoulder. <laughs> yeah. Well, it feels like when I used to teach in person. Just, mm-hmm. just a couple people. And we always end up talking about everything but art, you know, movie, books. What I think the thing that, um, so, like, I've been to, they do, like, a, or so, oh yeah, like the, Stur- the Stir Cove concerts. I haven't been to one of those. I know, but I have. And I've seen that thing packed where you can't even move through it. And that holds only 3,500 people. Huh. So, that's a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. We only have 16 friends right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> they are the best friends on the planet. And I'm not being, I like, I, we wouldn't, we couldn't do it without those friends. It just. I'm so, I am so grateful. I know. I, I never. I struggle every time to find the words. Like I don't know how to express it. I didn't think anybody'd watch us. Notice I say us when I think mm-hmm. nobody will watch. But when it's like something I don't know, whatever, and then it's me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I throw you under the bus when I <laughs> when it's negative. You lump that into the us. Yeah. Okay. I'm just kind of. I was a little scared to get some color in there, but I think that's okay. Sometimes I get a little scared. I think what's gonna be cute. It's, I always like the whiskers. Um, I'll probably throw an extra crazy curl, you know, and maybe instead of these curls are lined up in the reference photo pretty pretty closely, but I probably will throw one. Make it. That's when it's fun for me. Right now, it's just finding the, finding the shapes, finding the edges, um, doing the work of the painting. I went green. All, oh, yeah, I did that because I was going to... Actually, I think I might want that darker. Um, Lori asked, um, speaking of um, books and movies, did either of you go and see where the crawdads sing? Oh, people I keep... haven't yet. We haven't. Go ahead. We. Oh, what were you going to say? Oh, I just another person uh, yesterday told me I have to go see it. It's really good. And you don't need to see have read the book is what okay. they said. Then yeah, we need to. Yeah. No, I haven't. No, we haven't, yeah. I need to do audio books because I never read. If I have downtime, I paint. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, Christmas present or birthday present, Audible. Yeah, Audible. <laughs> a subscription to Audible. Yeah. Um, and then Michael asks, Annie, are you using acrylic paint? Have you ever used the golden open slow dry acrylic? They're just like oils. No, um, I have not. I know a lot of people really like them and you get some really, I would love it because you don't have, I don't want to deal with turpentine, Gamsol, you know. Um, no, but see, I like the fast drying because, um, you know, I just painted a little area in 10 minutes for sure. I could throw this on my scanner or run it outside and take a photo, uh, quick edit it, upload it, send it to my agent. I like the speed of it, even though I'm not a fast painter. Mm-hmm. So, no, I have not tried them. I know a lot of people love them. Golden's a great company. I've bought over the years some golden paints. I just don't like the little teeny lids. Yeah, it's the lids that you can't open. <laughs> it's not the paint. The paint's awesome. I like that the basics sit on the caps on a shelf. But mostly it's the lids. Either they pop open or they're big. Okay, what was I doing? I'm painting a lamb. You're with painting no a lamb. Name. Oh, lamb chop. I don't know if we can do that, though. Mm. What if you, like, recognize the TM? So it's like lamb chop TM. 
I, well, <laughs> one should usually get permission to yes. do things, but... <laughs> But you're recognizing that it's not, it doesn't belong to you? No, it belongs to Sherry Lewis or whoever. I think I might just put some brown in here. No, I would, I would love to try them. Um, it's not like I'm super, super busy, but I, I have three for sure. Budding income streams, maybe four. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you count each gallery, then it's different. You know, it's just different depending on how you count. Mm -hmm. So I, I schedule my time. Well, and Emily helps me. I have to make sure she stays busy and out of trouble. Yeah. Doesn't wander off into some place she shouldn't be going. <laughs> you like that reference? Yeah. Like you're a dog or something. Okay. Yes. I, and you leave the backyard gate open, and then all of a sudden I'm just roaming free. and. Yep. And then you get the, so Chase and I have discovered the, now that we have a ring, um, we get like reports and Chase is like, man, a lot of dogs get out. So it'll be like lost dog, found dog. And we would, I think we get one at least once a day. Oh, the next door app talks about that too. I didn't realize yeah. the ring did too. And, um, and then it, it'll also, there's other reports that it sends you, but like, man, do dogs get out is what Chase said or something like that. It's funny. And, um. So that'll just be me. I'll be on like all the next door app. Like there's a a five foot tall, anywhere from, you know, the age of sixteen Oops. to twenty six roaming the streets. Does any has anyone lost somebody? That's quite a range. Or I feel like I feel like most people. Uh, I have. I would been, know dogs age unless they were really old or really young. Well, yeah. Well, no, no, no. For me, that would be the call for me. Oh, for you. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was painting. <laughs> mm -mm. That's the call for me, roaming the streets. Oh, yeah. Cause, um, Strawberry hair. Yeah, when Chase and I went to... Sassy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm when Chase weird. and I went to go get a treadmill, um, or look at treadmills, um, the guy at the shop... Um, I mean, I know I was, like, I was in athletic clothes and, like, sneakers and no makeup. No makeup but they literally, he literally made a comment that he thought I was Chase's daughter. <laughs> I was like, oh. and either Chase was like cool or like ew. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, we were both like no. Yeah, mm -mm. no. It's not a bad thing. You'll mm -mm. like it when you're my age. I assume you'll keep that youthful. Jack still looks quite young. Yes, he does. At thirty-one. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I had to skip a generation. I wouldn't mind a little bit of that. Yeah. Well, I think that's the... Um, I think the in my favor is also the, the height also helps. True. Being short helps, yep. But that, and that's from, I assume, the trove side. Oh, I keep forgetting to um, pull up my palette. I'm a little bit out of practice. We've done a lot of tabletop. Mm, Bonita says that um, golden lids are horrible, even though... They will replace the defective cap for you. I don't like them. As many uh, complaints they have, you'd think they would improve them. Yeah, make it a little easier to open the. I think they have an opener. Didn't you find that look? For, find that out for me once. They do have an opener. Yeah, I've seen it, but still. Yeah, and even with the Liquitex, I save a couple of clean caps. Um, oh, that's smart. You know, so I can wash them, soak them. I don't, do, I rarely do it, and I really, let's see, where's that phthalo blue? I rarely have a problem mm -hmm. getting them off, um, and that's pretty dirty. But I do, like, take this and then wipe it on a paper towel. There was a, a they, golden I, really, I had to get open for you once, yeah, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, and then it, it just wanted to glue itself shut. I finally um, tossed it because it was so old. I never used the paint. Um, and it was too small for, like, my... For arthritic people, jar opener thing with the handle. I, I don't know how to describe that. You got it for me for Christmas. It's like what Graham had. So I talk, I lose my place. So what I, one thing I don't want to do, which I've talked about before, is kind of like have cool browns. Here, let's just divide the face in half. I want to carry some of my, I have some greens over here. I want to carry some of my greens over there and some of my warms, like put some warms over here, just so you don't have like this obvious dividing line of color. It'll help you. 
Let's see, I'm still kind of struggling. That's awfully dark. The air popped on and I'm right by the vent. Yay. Mm hmm yeah, it's, it's a little warm. I was talking to my agent in Kansas City and she's, uh, I mean, they're south. Kansas is one state south of Nebraska. And mm -hmm. So they're, you know, 105 and humid and just a little bit warmer. They've had rain. I think it's pretty much the same weather we've had. Just a smidge warmer. She was asking me when I was get, gonna get the sketches done for the manufacturer. Because I had asked um, one of the people she works with if it was a rush, and they said no, and I think it made her nervous that it was so open-ended. <laughs> so she messaged me today. Um, I think they need it in a week or two. I'm like, yeah, no problem. That was kind of funny. I don't like to sit on things. I'm just playing with my weird gray greens and my teal. It looks really strange to me right now, and it really makes me nervous. But I'm hoping that this helps. Just in general, like the lines are a little bit different than some of the videos. Um, and I do have some art tip videos, try to mix it up a little bit for you guys. Basically what I do is I bring you all to work with me. <laughs> Which I love, I love that. I have company when I'm working. Oh, when you're not thinking, Emily, I'll, I have a brush stroke direction matters. The fur, I'm pretty sure it's fur on the lamb grows. It's growing that way and this way in my photo. I'm not even looking at my reference photo now. I'm just putting on, and this is way dark here. I Maybe I should show you. It's way dark. I'm gonna lean towards dark until I figure out how much drama I want. but. The value difference isn't much between the, the, whoop, hello, between the nose and the, I'll call that the cheek, and then the body. I've got a lot, a lot more going on, but it's easy to lighten it up, and it's kind of fun to lighten it up. What were you, were you going to say something to me? Well, the thing I'm working on and talking in code because the manufacturer hasn't, you know, decided I haven't finished the project. It's for every day, 2024, mm -hmm. 2000, which doesn't surprise me. And yet they work so far out. Plus now with all the shipping change, chain, shipping chain, shipping change. issues, <laughs> they might be working more than a year out. Mm -hmm. But they also just had market stuff. So they might just plan it all at once. I don't, I, I haven't, I've known of this company for quite a long time. But I haven't licensed anything with them. That'd be fun. Mm-hmm. That'd be so fun. Let's see. I don't want to be as dark as that, so let's go a little, I'm just going to put a little white in my brush. I could darken that more, but I really think it's pretty good. So I'm just blobbing. I think that's what's fun and relaxing about painting is when you get into sections you're not worried about the shape or the you're going to kind of lay down the same value everywhere and you just kind of play like a kid. I think the air is working because I feel like my hot flash is over. It's helping. <laughs> it was actually when it's hot outside like that mm -hmm. upstairs. Um, I'm upstairs in Emily's old bedroom is my studio um, with the lights off and just my computer on. It stays nice in here. Mm -hmm. But with uh, two bodies, computers, iPad, all the lights on. And yeah, a cat. Yeah, she's sleeping. She's sleeping. She slept all day. I'm like looking at her to see if she's breathing. She's breathing. <laughs> it kind of scared me there for a minute. Mm -hmm. um, it was pretty nice. Because it, when it's hot out, then it pops it on downstairs. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to make this a mud pile just to have a value. Yeah, we should paint in the dark. <laughs> keep the keep the lights off. <laughs> we might be able to do that. Or I'll sit in like oh. another room so then we don't steam it up in here. Really? 
it's your fault. Mm-hmm. Glow in the dark paint. Glow in the dark paint. I'm sure there's such a thing. I'm just reminding myself I kind of want it lighter there. Actually, it might be plenty light. I might have to go come back and go darker. That's going to be too light. I need to pick up some mud. Make some mud. Another person said they like that I don't use a ton of colors. I don't know if it was on the live. It was. Okay, I've had that comment um, before. I do it because it helps my paintings look better and more unified. It's not like I'm, I do it because it helps me. My immediate reaction was that it was Angela. Oh, maybe it was. But I've I'm seen, not sure. I've seen a couple comments, too. This looks terrible to me, just want to say. Oh, well, I was just going to say, Anita says, he's coming to life. Love it. With a little, like, the hearts around the person emoji. Yeah, he is. I mean, it is. It's getting, if I keep going, if I would go a little faster, it's going to look a little better, too, if I get <laughs> a little more progress. And then uh, Suzanne asks, uh, Annie, how do you pick your colors to start your painting? Um, this one, it just really depends. I mean, I like phthalo blue green shade. Um, this one, I haven't done a green, green background. And so I started with the hookers green and white, but it was just too green. It just scared me. So then I added the phthalo blue. So I, I started with this color and then I'm like, okay, so I want to keep those colors because I added the phthalo blue and I'm like, well, I need, I need a burnt umber and a black, you know, to paint the sheep, you can just take cues from the reference photo. They call that local color when you take cues from the photo or if you're painting on site. So then that was pretty easy. I'm like, well, since I have phthalo blue, I think, and I need dark dark browns, I think I'll put out bur burnt umber. Um, I ended, and then I wasn't gonna put out any more colors. Then I thought, oh, I might want something a little warmer. This is a pretty cool, this is a pretty cool palette like that. Mm -hmm. So then I thought, well, let's put out a warm. So I could have put out a yellow. I just put out a raw sienna. So that's how I decided. Just kind of, just like painting, I kind of started, well, what am I going to start with? And then build on it. Mm -hmm. I, I get so wordy. <laughs> it's fine. That's how I did it. That's It's better than being like, I just do it. I don't know. <laughs> well, some, art, some artists put, yeah, some artists put out all their colors, which is, not that's totally cool. Everybody, mm -hmm. but that's what's neat about ours. Everybody does it a little different. I don't. I didn't want to do that. I do. Um, I don't get a headache anymore when I paint and talk. Um, I don't mind paint. I don't mind painting in front of people, but talking and painting was hurting my head. But now it's getting a little better. But I'll do something like that, where I'm like, oh, why did I do that? Because I was talking. It's kind of like um, how you would make yourself play the brain games on my Nintendo DS back in the day. Yeah, I need to. Because it, I, like, yeah. it was like stretches your brain kind of thing. I need to do that. I really should read, too. It's a painting all the time. It'd be good for me. Actually, I'm going to that, bring that teal over here. And I'm making some decisions that are really way too far in advance, but don't fight yourself if you can help it. Just kind of go, go with it. Yeah. Less frustration. So I'm thinking darker. I'm just kind of going around. I'm looking, as I was doing that, I'm looking at my reference photo, kind of looking at the values. Sometimes I do a value check. Okay, let's, um, let's build the nose. Um, I really want to get out white. But then I say don't get out white because I want to put on white to bring up, it'll help it have more form like the apple you know you want to with this one since it's a white animal I don't want to use white until I till the end end ish maybe I'll just um I'll just grab some of this color and put it in our mud this is making mud we should make put that in the title making mud <laughs> well a lot of times they say don't make mud with your mixing but gosh I make mud quite a bit Rather like mud. Let's just here, um, go I'm ahead. Sorry. Nope. Go I was going to say, uh, Michael says, uh, why do I suddenly want Chianti and some fava beans? Yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to have funny people in the chat. I don't think of things like that. <laughs> and then uh, Suzanne says, I love the. <laughs> Are you still good? <laughs> well, I'm thinking, do we call it silence? <laughs> 
Is yeah. that the title, you know? Maybe we call it Fava Beans, but I don't know if anybody get it. Go ahead and read, sweetie. Oh, no, no, no. Um, just that I love the colors that you use in your animal paintings. Yeah, you do make your animals, for lack of a better word, like juicy. Juicy. I, yeah, that's what I, I say. To, I call it juicy. Well, and they didn't always, I don't know. Like, I don't think um, Mona Fleece is juicy. She's... No, she's, she's more pretty. almost more monochromatic. Yes, where just a couple colors, black and white. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. I've just been into juicy lately. Juicy landscapes. I've just been having fun with it, and then I'll get tired of it, and I'll do something else, or maybe I'll go back to palette knife painting. Who knows? Mm -hmm. So all I'm doing is just kind of trying to keep keep the shape here. All right, let's. Um, oh, see so now I'm warm. The air shut off though. Oh, I'm still good. Um, Bab says, when I paint, I don't like anyone talking to me, LOL. Need to concentrate my little blonde head, I guess. <laughs> no, yeah, me too. Um, YouTube's been good for my brain for making me... Um, I would stop painting if someone walked into my studio and wanted to talk to me. Mm-hmm. Oops, that was the same value. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it. It's funny, sometimes that happens. Oh, no, I don't want to. I want to... I just want to tell myself, I'm grabbing just a little white off my palette, tell myself that there's a little something, something there. So I just grab some straight up white, but it's mixing with, some, what, with what is on the uh -oh, painting already. Brush stroke direction will help you. If I sing it, it makes it nicer when I say it. <laughs> Emily, I, sometimes I wonder what Emily thinks when she goes home. <laughs> 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 I talked myself and my mom into this. What am I thinking? I need more black here. Maybe we can come back and put some of that in. There's quite a bit of black on the nose. I like painting. Um, so I watch a lot of artists that I feel are better than me, like Chris For Fornatero. I think it's Fours. Fours at 43 on Instagram. Might be Paint Coach on uh, YouTube. Um, he's real good about a traditional painting. He'll... He'll paint the shape and then paint the bigger shapes and then he slowly, you know, then have like kind of like little eye sockets here, you know, that's all he's got. And then he builds down to the detail. Um, I think eventually I might get to there, but I feel safer if I don't lose my landmarks because I'm using the traceable. Mm -hmm. But I think your paintings are looser too if you literally paint the big shapes and paint the smaller shapes. Mm -hmm. Oops, I just hit my microphone. Hopefully that wasn't too... I think it's fun. You never really get there. I think you can just keep getting better or trying new things or however you want to word it. So I'm going to put a little this cover, color over here just while I'm thinking of it. Try not to line it up. I always want to line it up. I think we'll let the green... Yeah, we're kind of starting to have a face. I'm leaning back off my stool. I can get away from it. I'm like six inches from it. Oh, I meant to shout out. I have Emily's Daisy earrings on. Last time we talked about her Etsy store. <laughs> I meant to shout them out. She just uploaded a bunch of new earrings. We just put an ad on my Facebook page. I've been bad about switching my earrings out lately, Emily. That's okay. I've been bad about wearing earrings. I feel like I don't wear earrings in the summer. Is that what it is? I don't know. Sometimes the earrings catch on my scarf like and coat and stuff, too. Oh, yeah. I don't wear scarves. I have hair. You have a, <laughs> Emily has a lot of hair. My hair is my natural scarf. It is. And it's really hot in the summer, I bet. Mm-hmm. I'm a little nervous about how white this is, but I'm just going to basically let the paint run out of my brush. One thing I don't mind about the black charcoal pencil, especially this is sort of a muted compared to the, well, I don't know. I was going to say compared to the rabbit. Compared to this one, this is a muted painting. This was a very juicy one. Mm -hmm. um, I don't mind that the charcoal blends with the paint and kind of makes it a little muddy. Okay, should we come? Where are we? Where are we 
I kind of need a little something something here. So if you have like not a lot of paint and a little bit more water, you can kind of glaze over some of those brush strokes and smooth them out. Like I just I don't know if you could see that on the video. I've got quite a line here that I probably want to break up some more. Um, I wouldn't normally do it now, but I would take a pretty light color. Hopefully that'll show. And then let's see, where is one? I'll come back and pull some uh, fur strokes over. Oh, that's not covering. Yeah, his, what you call, what would you call that? His nose, his snout, his, yeah. it's really come together. It's starting to look better. Mm -hmm. It was, it's still pretty sketch, but it was sketch when we started. And it needs some, like, it needs some, um, some value changes, which is probably too soon to do this too, but as long as I'm chatting about it, it kind of needs to be lighter here. Kind of help it, help it have some shape. And I need to come back with some of my blacks too. That might be too light. So now I, there I'm thinking more values up and down rather than shapes. Mm -hmm. Kind of bounce around. I think when I first started in drawing, I would start like with the eye and get it just right and then work myself out. You could paint like that, you know, just get it all quite tight. You can. A I lot kinda, of. I used to kind of do that. Yeah, a lot of. Paint, painters say you shouldn't, but I'm like, there's no, whatever gets you there, and then you can make adjustments as you're more comfortable with mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I would, I would, I was trying, I'm trying to think, like in high school, definitely with drawing, I would do that. I, I mean, sure. I may have like a map of like, here's where things kind of go, but I, I would really like work on one thing and then finish that and then move on to the next thing. Well, I wouldn't you, bounce around. Yeah, if you've gridded it, I would totally then do that. Mm -hmm. At least, well, I would draw the grid in, like, outline. Yeah. But then I would probably start over here and just, you know, to keep my pencil drawing clean. Mm-hmm. Okay, I was going to work on the, let's just do some brown. Suzanne says he's adorable. Thank you. I keep thinking fava, fava beans for the title. Fava beans. <laughs> <laughs> fava beans. I'm going to put some of this detail back in just because it will make me happier. What were you going to name him? I don't know yet. I really love the title Mona Felisa. I know. But, and we could just make it Mona Felisa 2. 2.0, I think, is how I do the cows. I totally lost some of my nose. And then I'll probably come back and lighten this up. Juicy Mona Felisa. Juicy. I'm going to grab just a corner. I will paint things out and then put them back in. But I think they get a little better when I have to put them back in mm -hmm. eventually. That nose is just something. Here. The mouth, it doesn't worry, worry me, but the nose is just... Interesting. It's spotted. I could make it unspotted, maybe. It might be easier for me to see and then decide if I want to put spots back in. Mm -hmm. Kind of lost the mouth, too. I made the mouth real teeny. Ooh. Hmm. The cats have discovered the... Is, that, is the top part of the, like, railing down the stairs, like, the... Is that the baluster? I don't know. The like. It's like a narrow banister. Well, the ban those are like two separate parts. So there's like a baluster and a banister. I don't know which You're is. You're the interior designer. I know. <laughs> I just threw under the bus. Uh, well, it must be. You must have it right. Thank gosh for Google. I love that. I'd probably be happier with a smaller brush. You can just dab with the corner. 
I just don't want that forget that that mouth has really gotten small on me. Could put like a little handlebar mustache on it. Okay, I was gonna do this, and then I got. Okay, the banister is the handrail part. Okay. The baluster is like the flat part of the railing, basically. It's all the railing type thing, you know? Mm hmm. Um, so on the baluster, the girls have discovered that that is flat on top, and you can claw your way up there. Oh no, scratchy, scratchy. Yes. Oh no. But last night, I saw Meng up there for like maybe the second time like i saw her up there for like two seconds and she hopped down but she was like walking back and forth all along it and um it's the it leads to like um the basement and uh so and we have a weird like double railing so technically there shouldn't be a railing on that side but there is the girls are cats in case you guys oh yeah don't the know. cats my two cats um mango and maya and then um so Mango kind of like perched herself on the her front paws on the baluster and then her back paws on the railing but she's a very fluffy cat and we have she has like this clump of fur on her back hind legs that I think is actually to help for a cat to move silently which is like why it's theoretically there. Um, but it makes everything extra slippery because her little pad can't grip. Oh, no. And so, like, I saw one leg start going down the railing because it's sloped, obviously. And, and then she's like, okay, and then she hikes the other leg on the baluster with her front legs. Oh, no. But when she tried to do that, it just slipped. And then she was trying to grip the front of the... Um, the top of the baluster with her front paws and I just literally saw her slowly side down oh. and then she just fell onto the stairs. Ooh, ouch. She stopped. I, w I ran over and like looked at her and then she, she was, I don't know if she just got real jazzed by it, but she, w then she started doing like zoomies around. I don't know if she was like, I'm fine, mom. <laughs> oh, she probably, yeah, she probably had some adrenaline to, yeah, mm -hmm, to catch her. Well, then to get rid of, she had to. Well, and then Maya immediately, like, watched it all. She watched her sister literally fall down the stairs. And then she decided, huh, you know what sounds fun? Let me do that. And so what? now she's doing it, too. And she, like, has almost slipped twice. Oh. Uh. <laughs> it's kind of like, like if I'm in the basement. It's nice that they're young. Yeah, when I'm in the basement and it was, like, like just today when I, um, I was going to feed them before I left. And, uh... I walk up the stairs and Maya hops up there like it's an extra perch to stare at me to like make eye contact of like you're gonna feed me right I'm like oh we're not starting this yeah no but it was kind of funny to it was sad but funny because Meng like I saw it was like you could see her little wheels turning like oh yeah so like let's hike this leg over here I feel like I've gotten into the minutia and I should Kind of go back into the... Plus, it, I don't know. I'm not liking how dark that is, but I'll come back over it and mm -hmm. smooth it out. Or Now I kind of want to add some, like, little... I'll go, like, where I add little details. Um, I really recommend you probably should paint big shapes to little. Uh, it'd be quicker. And then I'll... <coughs> excuse me. Then I'll like smooth it out because I'll decide I have too many little pieces and then I'll go back and get some little details. It's kind of funny. And I really need more coverage. Um, I'm assuming, oh here I can, like I've got a lot of canvas poking through still too. Oh here, do you want to see the, it's a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Are you guys going to have dinner when you, after the live? Um, I don't know if Chase is going to be hungry because he asked me how much of the oatmeal cookie ice cream can he have. Oh, I had some of Chase's Biscoff cookie ice cream. It was so good. Mm-hmm. 
That's so good. That ice cream maker is pretty neat. It doesn't make much, but it's really neat. Well, and it's neat because you have a zillion flavors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes like a pint. And then, uh, yeah, you, you can make two flavors. Well, initially you could make, when we got it, you could make two flavors at once. But now we can make four. Oh. So you could make like a double batch if you wanted. Oh, Chase is down for dinner. He's here. <laughs> <laughs> He's here. I'm down for dinner. Well, then maybe I am having dinner after this. Well, you guys aren't getting HelloFresh anymore, are you? No, we paused it for the month because Chase has too many new toys that could possibly feed us. That's not. A, that's a good problem. <laughs> yeah. Between the smoker and then the grills, the griddle isn't new, new, but it's not like old by any means. And it's summer, so it's nice to. It's easy to use right now. So yeah, I paused it for the month of August, and then I put a reminder in my phone to at the end of August to probably pause it for September. We agree that it's, like, it's nice in the winter because then it's kind of, like... Oh, do whatever you want. Yeah, as long as we have the caffeine, we could really get away with, like, not having to go out in the cold for two weeks. And we would. Last winter, we wouldn't, we wouldn't go to a grocery store for two weeks. But in the summer when, you know, like, his family grills out and, like, it's just nicer out and more things happen, I feel like... It's a little, uh... Oh, yeah, you don't need it. Yeah. We were, like, struggling to... Well, I don't know how much pulled pork. Eat it. Yeah. I have some in the freezer. We had, like, a taste left. I just threw it out. Oh, should I get... <laughs> I know we're live, and there's, like, a bunch of people watching. Um, but should I get more of the locally grown sweet corn again at the grocery store? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It See was if really it's better. good. Yeah, see if it's a... Uh, we had sweet corn. It was really good. Or you could go to um, the one place that Chase and I like. Jillian's, mm -hmm. the roadside. Mm -hmm. I just went lighter there, but I was kind of blending it in. I'm going to... I don't probably need to do this, but just I kind of wanted that darker down there. Ooh, Bonita says, I make Oreo ice cream cake every July oh. for birthdays. Ooh. See, like oh. Oreo... Oreo's good and stuff. Um, Oreo anything is right up Chase's alley. Like he he Mint made a Oreos. oatmeal oatmeal cookie or what what is it? It's like the little Debbie oatmeal cream pie cookie thing is what basically is the flavor of that ice cream. And then he made an Oreo one. And like cookies and cream and Oreo I would say are Mint. a safe bet for him. Mint is a safe bet. I need to get away from this. Not like I need, like I'm sick of pain. I need to step back and go, am I on the right track? It's funny though, cause it's, you think you're on the right track and then you change your mind as you go. Just like I did with the back room. Oh, but. Um, <laughs> Are we still talking food? Yes, because um, I have now officially <laughs> touched and cut um, two different kinds of like raw meat now. Oh, yuck. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell it's a yuck, but it's it just a yuck. Saying it. <laughs> it is a yuck. Like, um, I mean, ground beef or like ground meat never really kind of got to me, but like the feeling of like cutting raw <laughs> chicken. I wonder how many people are giggling and we can't tell. Or, well, and also, yeah, and like, the, the, it's, so, it's such a normal thing. And I've, I, I don't know. I was I was a child that couldn't look at the meat case. I would go to the grocery store with me. Yeah, yes, and um, and I would like turn around as you got like the hamburgers or whatever out of from the meat guy. Yeah, I forgot about that. And so now at the ripe age of twenty six, I just for the first time ever cut raw chicken and raw pork chop this week, and it was good. I, I remember when I was first married. I got married at 20. And, well, my dad ran a packing plant and, and took me through the kill floor, which scarred me. Mm -hmm. Dad, if you're listening, hey, love you. <laughs> but I just, uh, so you probably got that from me. I probably didn't realize it. Well, probably. I mean, you're my second kid, so I shouldn't have, I shouldn't, I mean, I would have been over it by then. But mm -hmm. I don't, The only time I ever got that Ewe again was when 
a guy held up like a meat guy held up a bone thing to chase. Oh yeah. And was like, you want this? And that, like staring at the half cut inside of a bone, I was like, no, thank you. But um, <laughs> Bonita said the base is a full bag of Oreos crushed and blended with butter. Mm. This dessert is not for the faint of heart. Butter is you gotta cook with butter. Mm-hmm. And um, Chase says, what a great art conversation. <laughs> Hey, this is a hangout. I, yes. I'm here if you want to ask any art questions or... I think some of it's just watching me paint. Chase, man. Yeah. I'm yelling at you. Uh, I enjoy that. I, mm-hmm. It is. It's like, now that I'm getting used to talking and painting, I uh, I like the company. Mm-hmm. And I'm hoping the different videos are helpful. I know he's just teasing me. I took it a little hard there, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> and he was in the, he was being very rude. Oh, he was? Oh, I think no. you could defend him. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to say that. He's my favorite Chase man. Yeah, the Oreo... Um, I love food. Ice cream cake reminds me of your... Those um, chocolate caramel brownie whatever things. Squ- I, we just call them chocolate caramel brownie squares. Which Chase is probably going to also make fun of that name. He makes fun of all the names that have transpired through my childhood of things that we named food. Well, that was just because, uh, I don't know where Graham got that recipe, but it didn't have a name, and it's like we just described it, and it just became the... But yeah, it has a... It's cake mix, uh, cake mix batter that you just buy at the store and a bunch of butter. Mm-hmm. Put, well, it's like two sticks of butter in it. Yeah, put that down in the pan, bake it a little bit, and then you put chocolate and caramel on top mm-hmm. of it, and then the rest of the buttery on top, and it's oh. just... It's so good. It's so greasy. It's so greasy and so good. I'm making this ear warm. So right now I'm going to have two color ears, but I'll time, in, I'll time together. Oh, better. Michael says, I, yes, I, I, if he is correct, I believe. Um, I, he says, I believe the first cloned animal was a sheep oh, named Dolly. Dolly. You should name it Dolly. It's Dolly. And then Jack, my first sex talk with my 31-year-old son when he was young was about cloning sheep because he was so into science. And so we were in the car. I can picture it. We were talking about Dolly the sheep. And then we started talking about, well, how do they get pregnant? <laughs> mm. And then what's cloning, you know? Mm-hmm. It's Dolly. Dolly. That has a personal connection to Jack's first sex talk. <laughs> I'm glad he's probably not watching. Oh, that's funny. Thank you. Uh, I'm also open to more titles, too. Mm-hmm. If, you wanna, if you're watching in the replay and want to leave a title in the comment, you know, I don't. I won't be done with this for a while, quite a while. And odds are there will be another sheep. Eventually. Oh, there will be. I'll need another one. I write down the titles too. Mm-hmm. Dolly. I, I haven't asked on um, Facebook for title ideas just because I write them down. Mm-hmm. Gosh, people come up with good ones. Ned, Le- I think it's Levine, uh, came up with Happy Birch Day for that mm-hmm. fall mm-hmm. painting that just. It's funny when a painting turns out and you're like, how did they do that? I mean, I can go watch the video. I like Dolly a I, lot. I totally painted out. I miss fava beans, though. <laughs> <laughs> Bonita says Dolly is perfect. Yeah, we'll call it Dolly. Make her hair a little fluffy on top. Oh, yeah, I, I don't have it out there, but I'm going to. And then, I want, is there a play on words for Dolly Parton? Oh, probably. Because you did Mona Felisa. I like Dolly the clone, but yeah. Yeah. People, people probably think Dolly Parton. That's also when, when I work at the gallery and you, people don't realize they're talking about my art. Mm-hmm. I try, I don't always, but I try to have cute titles and they'll giggle or, mm-hmm. you know, like Specs Appeal, the alpaca. With the glasses. With the glasses. I can hear them talking and chuckling about it, which, which make, that's the whole point. Makes my day the whole point. Mm-hmm. Dolly. I think Jack will like that title. Specs appeal? No, the um, dolly. Oh, dolly! Yeah, 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 yeah. Jack will like the dolly. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell him the whole story and try and embarrass him. I don't think I can though. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't really embarrass. No. So. He'll, he'll just be like, okay. Okay, that's where I'm talking, and I'm not doing. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I totally mixed the wrong value. I'm just gonna wipe it off on my paper towel. I do like how. Like, I, I don't think Chase has been in the chat for, let's see, I mean, quite some time. 
he he's just he must be silently listening and then just only pops in when I talk about dinner. <laughs> oh yeah. Well he's he's probably keeping an ear out, like, you know, are we saying bad stuff about him? Oh yeah, he's gotta, you know. Yeah. I don't have much of a filter. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. I think it's time to move on. I'm just yeah. kind of playing. Move on. Oh, it's not so bad when I get back from it. Mm, Tammy said Dolly Parton was the first thing I thought when I heard Dolly, too. Yeah, I don't mind that. It'll it'll catch both audiences. We've got the science folk that know that Dolly the sheep was the first cloned sheep. If I had more space on the title cards, it could be Dolly Loves Fava Beans. <laughs> Dolly Loves Fava Beans. And then we'll I, also catch the Dolly Parton people. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta let go of that. I've been talking about that too much here. We've got science and country music covered. How funny that brought that up. Brought back a memory. I'm going to double check that. I believe, I think it is Meme Dolly. I remember when, I won't say anything embarrassing here, Emily, but when you and I had like, you know, how babies are made. And you're, oh. like, and you're like, ew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's it's, yeah, the a Dolly the sheep. Yeah. The 5th of July, 1996. <gasps> oh, so you were just... You were uh, just a baby. Yes. I was trying to say if I went the right way with the numbers. Yeah, me too. Um, I think I kind of need to like either work on the head or work on the body. Um, I won't get this. We're going to quit here in about 10 minutes. If anybody has any questions or anything they want to say. Um, can, can, well, I'll just say anything and then I'll say no if <laughs> it's too personal or something. Um, so I, I just kind of keep doing this until I get uh, the whole... Lay, I, what is this? A lamb painted on. And then I'll come back, go back and kind of paint the whole thing again. And then I might even do a third round or I might do it in the second round. It just kind of depends. And I'll, I'll pull out like some, like a wild hairs and, you know, try to just get some fun details. There's whiskers, little whiskers. Like there's a little whisker that curls down. I probably will overemphasize because it's just fun. I might pull out some um, little fur over the green kind of thing. That kind of stuff. I don't know if I need to say that because there's going to be a full video. Yeah, it felt weird to not stop you. Talking or? Like we didn't have a break. Oh, yeah. Well, I kind of like that, actually. But... Okay. Um, I, I think people want me to get to it, though. I don't want to be too. Yeah, get to it. Too commercially. I think. Well, and also just like I, more people are on at 30 minutes than they are like the second we start so then more people probably see their thank you you know oh true why well, didn't have any thank yous well, yes, well no i mean that's why i, I oh. think we did it at like 30 minutes in yeah initially well, you know tr that's right i forgot and at least all the podcasts that i like watch or listen to on youtube they always do the ad read at 30 minutes in or like an hour in like if they break it up they'll do like it's not re really right at the top because less people are on yeah, it's so nice to watch other people see how they do it. I know. It's so nice. I think, has YouTube been around about 13 years, maybe? 2009. I can't do it. I can't do it in paint, especially. I know, that's why I just said 2009. I have a calculator on my computer. Hang on. I can do it. Of course, I could do 2010, 20. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't too far off. 2009. Oh, 13 years. I, yeah. Wow, sometimes if I don't try to think, I just kind of come up with it. Mm-hmm. That's funny. Tammy um, says Dolly the Pardon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's you guys are so good for me. I I thank you. I I'm just didn't like the value, so I'm grabbing a little white. Well, I think it's good for me to talk and paint even though I was just complaining it's probably good for my brain well that way if I ever do I've never done a well it'd be the same as teaching in person but when I taught in person I had tra I had photos traceables is quite similar it was watercolor though um, I, don't, I think it'd be pretty much the same if I did a demo like at the gallery but did a full demo not just sit there and paint Mm -hmm. Talk about it. I don't know where I was going. I have no idea what that thought was. I'm just kind of warming up over here a little bit, and then I might not like it, and I might come back and cool it down. But I'm starting to 
So like I had some swirls in here and I, I drew in a few circles just to remind me. Maybe I'll paint those around though so I don't forget about them when I'm thinking about it. And then hair is just kind of um, having a dark area. Of course this hair isn't fur, isn't quite the same because it curls here. Mm -hmm. Maybe here. It's just having a dark area to pull some lights over, and then you can also pull some darks in. And then you don't have to paint every... Uh, you can. You don't have to paint every piece of fur. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's bugging. It always bugs me at this stage because I can see all kinds of places where the canvas is popping through where I just either didn't put paint down or... Actually, I think that nose is okay. It needs to be much lighter here. I tend to really focus on the nose and the eyes and the ears probably third and that's probably not going to be very it's going to dry darker it's probably not going to be light enough and see that I just painted out all my detail I'll have to probably come back in and put it in again it's kind of this is a little too soon for that I don't know if you can see that on video but just, that's how I'll get get it to look a little bit more realistic hmm. I had a sore throat. I mean, I don't have COVID. <laughs> Good. I think he's just talking to me. I'm much. here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would have stayed home. I don't see anybody. I know. I might you could still get COVID, but yeah. I haven't even been to the grocery store yet this week. That's why I was very unconcerned, because I think... It's also fall, getting to be fall. Your bubble consists of... You? Yes. Jack? Yes. A trip to the grocery store once a week. Yep. Done. Done. Well, I go to the gallery. I was at the gallery Sunday. Mm-hmm. I sell in two galleries, but I the one is a membership gallery, so I talk, that's what I call the gallery or the downtown gallery. Because the other gallery, I really don't have to do anything but bring paintings. Mm-hmm. Switch them out. Um, they take a bigger cut. The downtown gallery is a co-op, so we all share in responsibility, which I, I like it. Uh, but it's more stuff to do. Committees. I don't think that did a darn thing. Let's go back up here. Let's just put in some, um, I'll make a little more. Let's just put in some creamy color and get some color down. Kind of like just getting some color down on your background. Mm. Timmy said um, it could be um, Pardon the Dolly as well <laughs> if you still want to play on Dolly Parton. And then Susie says Pardon me Dolly. Yeah, pardon me? Oh, that's cute. Um, I love his sweet face. You always give your subjects, why did I say, I said that kind of southern you always give your subjects um, such engaging faces with beautiful eyes. Well, the photos I love the reference photos you can find you, artists used to have to take their own photos because of copyright issues and everything. But now there's Creative Commons Zero website, which I was, gosh, for quite a while, I wouldn't show them on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Because I, well, I license my art, so I'm a little bit copyright. What's the adjective M? Like, I'm overprotective about it. I worry about it too much. Um, I'm over, yeah. overly concerned. Oh, yes. Um, Something like I don't that. know. Yeah. Phobia. Phobia. <laughs> you have I, have a, I have a copyright phobia. Yeah, you do have a copyright phobia. Um, well, like, you can't paint, I can't, whoops, I just got paint on my, side of my canvas. I can't paint Rudolph, a uh, reindeer with a red nose and try and license it. Mm-hmm. Um, whoever owns that doesn't like it. Um, I couldn't paint a VW Bug, which I would love to paint. I could on my own. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, I mean, t I think, t t I mean, I couldn't license it, and I don't think you're really supposed to even sell it. Um, Disney, of course, a lot of people know they're, the copyright police and have must have a big staff looking for stuff. Mm -hmm. so, there's a lot of, and then people have a right to publicity. A lot of artists paint famous people, I'm assuming without permission, but I'm like, I just don't want to, I don't want to spook a manufacturer that might want to license my art and then I've got this copyright issue going on. Yeah. I don't want to spook anybody because it spooks them because it's, it's expensive if they print thousands of things and ship them and Mm -hmm. Now they can't sell them because there's some issue with it. But these photos I really like. 
I mean, at least I'm reading their terms of service and doing my due diligence. And hopefully so are they with the uploads. But it removes me well, at least one step. Yeah. That was a copyright lesson. That was. I felt it. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Soapbox. We need a soapbox emoji. I know. Um, I keep Emily so busy. And then she does stuff above and beyond. Go ahead. Yeah, because we're working on fun things. Emily's working on fun things. Um, uh, Bonita said, my COVID started with a bad sore throat. Dot, dot, dot. Good <laughs> luck, Annie, with the smiley face that's like upside, flipped upside down. It's August. I'm not, yeah. Not, I mean, yeah. Hey. Hey. Bon Bonita said that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's the nurse. Yes. No, I just, I don't, I need, what I need to do is like talk and sing a lot. So mm -hmm. I'm used to it. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of squiggling. I'm trying to, do I need, let's see, this is kind of, this is a nice shadow landmark for me to help me know, you know, what's where. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to change the color of that. It doesn't, I might change it back, but. You have technically four minutes in our normal whatever, mm -hmm. but if you want to go over, you can. We, we, I think we went over half an hour last time. Yeah, I wasn't done. This one I won't get done. True. There'll be a full video in, oh, three weeks, September maybe. I think I'm almost scheduled out through August, M. Wow. I don't have it done, but I have it, have it thought out, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, when I paint smaller, it's easier to do. I can get more videos done than if I paint something big. Oh, did I tell you guys that I sold uh, Mavis in the Middle, that big 30 by 40 that I worked on in a couple videos? I don't know. I don't think so. It's sold. It went to somebody who raises cows. I don't know if it's in their house or... Mm hmm I don't know if it's still in Omaha. I'm like, yay. I was so excited. I've got it. That's at Ginger's Hangout, which is the other gallery I sell in. Um, I've got a giraffe there that's going to sell soon. I say it out loud, it'll sell. You kind of did. You were just like, Mavis is going to, I want Mavis to sell. And then it was like a week later and Mavis was gone. Yeah. Let's, I'll talk about the draft then it'll sell. I don't remember the title. Is that Sweet Pea or is that a different one? That's Sweet Pea. Yeah. It's cute. It has a rusty background. Mm -hmm. That is Sweet Pea. It's real white right here in the reference photo, but I'm just kind of using paint that value that doesn't scare me too much. Mm. Uh, Veronica says, hi from Ontario, Canada. Hey. Love your art. We have, we have a few Ontario friends. On Facebook, when I advertise to try and draw, draw push traffic to uh, YouTube, mm -hmm. I, we, uh, we, I, we advertise to um, U.S. and Canada. Mm. Used to advertise to the UK, but they tightened up their advertising laws. Mm. And I can, it's just it's more expensive. Yeah. So right now the budget's small. But I mean, of all of Canada, I feel like we have quite a few. We do. Ontario friends. Oh, sorry, I missed that point. Yes, you did. It Yes, right over my head. Are we looking a little better or not at all? Oh, Chase said welcome, Brian. Chase is still here. <laughs> Yeah, he listens, I bet. I bet you, uh, your cats are sitting right with him, too, listening. That's oh, mom. They've both been That's so mom. needy, too. Oh. Like, Mango um, was bugging Chase last night and then slept in his lap for a little bit. And Maya's been so needy. Yesterday, I do think it was, she was being too needy. And so then I went looking around, or like, like, Chase stood up at some point, I think, and then he, she, like, tried to bolt upstairs, but she realized he didn't follow her, so then she's like, come on. So you could tell she wanted you to go upstairs from the basement, mm -hmm. and then she was still just, like, crying and crying, and I was like, okay, what the heck is going on? <laughs> and so I went upstairs, and she basically kind of, like, led me to the kitchen, and I was like, oh, you're hungry. So then I went around, and I found a pile of vomit. She, oh. like, threw a breakfast. There, there's livestock. So the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, like, she was, she was hungry because she threw up her breakfast. Yeah. And it was, you know, it was probably past, it was about dinner time, so. She she's like, I want food now. Did you get a retreat? 
No. <laughs> well, I don't know that I would because then she's going to expect Then she's going to, yeah, then she's going to, yep, just like, like how. Freckles. We, Maya is the reason we had to get the automatic feeders because my, their feeding schedule kind of revolved around like when I would leave and come home. And, oh, uh, from, from the interior design studio? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I would feed them right before I left because I left last. And then I would feed them right when I got home. So Maya definitely knew I was food, and especially in the morning. And I would only feed them in, um, or I guess I'd feed them morning, dinner, the wet food, and then later at night, right before I went to bed. But still, the in between the before bed snack and breakfast was, like, too long for her. And she would bug me and bug me and she would like, I sleep with my hair usually like in a ponytail or a bun and she would grab my bun and like yank it. Ooh, Not as, I mean, she's a cat, so she can't yank it that aggressively, but like she would like, hey, wake up, wake up. And then, and I mean, mind you, I do have like, my ponytail is thick, so I barely feel, I barely, when oh, she gets true. a little chunk, I barely feel it. That's true. And then she would like, bolt to the bathroom where I'd feed them in the apartment and uh and then there was just one time where I wasn't turned away from her and she like went to like grab some hair or something and she bit my cheek so I'm like okay we're getting automatic feeders <laughs> you're getting fed at 3 a.m we're getting automatic feeders like I, I'm not dealing with it they get fed a couple times don't they with, the, with that 10 like yeah 10 30 and 3 30 or something yeah it's um, and then wet food in the morning? Is like that the nine, morning? wet food at dinner time. So 9 a.m. they get fed, wet food around 5. Um, I'm sure this is just it's so riveting. It's so exciting. <laughs> um, and then the automatic feeder goes off at 10.30 and 3.30 in the morning. I let Freckles free feed, which they say you shouldn't do. Of course, she's done it forever, and she's never... Well, my cats can't free feed. No, I'm not saying you should, but I was listening to somebody, probably that yeah. Jackson Gal Galaxy guy, yeah. the cat guru. Mm -hmm. He's like, don't do that, and I can't remember why. I'm like, oh, she's been doing it for yeah. decades. It's something about, like, the hunt. Like, then they don't... It kind of simulates... It gives them a schedule, and then it simulates, oh, it's like... A schedule, too. A hunt for them, in a way. Like, Maya does it. Like, they talk about how, like, then they'll, they'll kind of, like scratch and claw right before they get the food and Mayo does that oh. like she'll go on her little cardboard sofa and scratch it before I feed them the I, wet food I, I've ruined Freckle's life it's okay she's thriving still still snoring over there yeah well we she just turned hit. huh she turned around sure. she faced away oh um we're at an hour and a half I think I'm gonna quit okay because I'm getting putsy too I don't know if that's a, that interesting live I just keep putzing. Chase says spoiled girls. <laughs> I love them. They yeah. let me pet them. They sit by me. They're funny. They're really cute and nice. I make little origami frogs for Maya. I just keep playing. I need to stop. That's not changing anything. Okay, guys. I'm not going to say goodbye right this second. If there's anything you want to say and have Emily mention. I'm, my paints desperately need misting. I just have a little... This one is a fine mist. It used to be glass cleaner. I just um, give them a good spray. Sometimes I'll, um, I mean, it can be a, it can be a bummer. Sometimes, oh yeah, like that needed, that had skin over on the top. Sometimes I'll cut a little, little water into it. But also what happens is when I put this in the Ziploc baggie, after I put them, um, here, I'm, I'm out of order. I'll put this on the top, put this in a Ziploc baggie. Um, it acts a little bit like a terrarium in the paint will wake up. But then the water evaporates faster than any medium you would put in it. And so you can kind of shoot yourself in the foot, too, by doing it. You kind of just play with what you like. Mm -hmm. See what, what works best for you. Ooh. What do you think, Em? I can't see that. Oh, I could put the chat on. I... Um, no one said anything. I was going to say, if Chase is still here, I want to know if we're, are we mowing or going to Target. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I can see the chat. I can see Veronica, Tammy, mm -hmm. Bonita. I yeah. feel like um, there's an, I mentioned this before, there's an old local TV show called Romper Room. This woman would hold up a mirror and say, I see Tommy and Peggy. And... It was really dorky. I mean, it was even dorky when I was a kid. Like PBS, whatever? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I don't, I think, I don't know if it was a national show. It was just, I think it was local. And you could go like to the local PBS station and be on it. Oh, really? Yeah. Dang. 
Yeah, that was that part was pretty cool, but I never mm. chase spoiled girls. <laughs> yeah, nobody Chase has not said if we're mowing oh. our target. Sorry, I just I looked at it's it definitely needs like some light values, but when I look at it on the live stream, it's way better than when I'm on top of it. It's still pretty rough and in that teenager stage, but it, I think it's going in the right direction. You mm -hmm. know, I this might this shape might is too strong probably, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. It's actually part of the structure I'll work with. You know, this is getting a little better. Mm. Oh, that's weird to see me move like. Yeah, and then you're moving. Four seconds later, yeah. Suzanne says, awesome live guys. Hope you have a good week. Big art hugs. Big art hugs back to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for spoiling me with comments and all your support. Yep, and Susie Every says, thank you. Sorry to cut you off. No, same with Susie. <laughs> I mean, everybody here is just, the comments and the shares, all that helps a ton. Yeah, people are going to have to come back next week to figure out if I went to Target or if I mowed the lawn. <laughs> Ooh, big cliffhanger. <laughs> okay, guys, <clears throat> I'm going to say goodbye. Oh, sorry, oh, no. sorry, sorry, sorry. Tammy no. says that I remember romp, r Romper Room in L.A. Oh. I was on the Bozo show on PBS oh. back in the day. I, Bozo was not It was already kind of gone by the time I saw it, but I remember that. I remember that. So it wasn't just local. Maybe it was several local stations did it. Or like every local PBS station. Maybe. I don't know. Back in the day when people had money. Uh-huh. Yeah, when PBS. PBS had maybe had more money. I feel like we're PBS, you know. We're PBS. Like we're going to have some sort of membership drive or something. <laughs> well, that's what I meant. Like when we have the ad break or the ad break, but like the thank you break, that's literally a very like brought to you from viewers, brought to you by mm, viewers, viewers like, like you. you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I, it, maybe we need that. Yeah. yeah. Emily and I are working on a project. Maybe that's a line we could use um and uh cindy says thanks annie can't wait to see the finish so cute yeah i'm excited about this one i i'm thinking it's still too green on the background i like the green you don't really do that kind of green no but what might help is when i'm closer to done is to glaze some green yes just like i did with the rabbit mm -hmm. last week just kind of pull it in yep yeah cute, i, cute, I cute. always get a little frustrated and upset before i should because we're in the teenager stage and really, it's kind of a headless body. You know, it doesn't have a body. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the eyes, yeah, the eyes aren't even close to done and all that stuff. Kathy says, hello from Ontario. Love this video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for Another coming. Another Ontario. Thank you for coming. Okay. All right. You think it's okay? I Emerson? think we're good. I still don't know if I'm going to mowing your target, but, you mm -hmm. know, I'll figure it out. I just realized my hand's red. That's how yeah, warm. warm. Warm it is in here. Okay, guys, have a great week. If I don't <laughs> talk to you before then, thank you. Thank you for all your support. Great, big, happy art hugs. <laughs> I love this guy. And I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>